My total cost was $496.96. I listed it for $899, so we should make around $400 in profit, and that would be super sick for this computer. This is Flipping PCs Until I Buy a House, Season 2, Episode 5. Now, the whole goal of this series is to save up the profits from flipping computers to put a down payment on a house. Now, I was close to $10,000 saved up, but I made a dumb financial decision, so now we're sitting at like $1,500, and the goal is $1,500. In today's episode, we build and list some more computers for sale. We also get some really great deals on more computer parts. But the real question is, will we sell any computers and make a profit? I don't know. Let's get into the video after a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Super CDK. If you've built a gaming PC before, you've probably seen that watermark that's telling you to activate Windows. Or if you flip computers for profit, then you need to activate those builds as well. Instead of overpaying for a retail key, visit Super CDK down below. They have Windows 10 keys for as low as $17 and Windows 11 keys for as low as $22 when you apply the discount code. SPLA. Whatever Windows version you end up going with, the discount code will save you at least $5. Once you get the key, activating it is super easy. You just copy and paste it into your window activation settings, click activate, and bam, you got rid of that watermark. Thank you Super CDK, and be sure to check out their links in the description. So I just built this awesome looking computer, I got it benchmarked, I got it listed for sale, and it's an estimated profit of around $200. Now I actually built it yesterday and tested it this morning. It cost me around the $400 price range. It's consisting of a Ryzen 5 2600X, 16 gigabytes of RAM that I actually got for free from like an eBay mishap that happened. And it's a B450 motherboard, GTX 1070, 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. And then most importantly, it's in an awesome looking fish tank style case. It's the DIY PC, one of their cube versions. I bought it without the fans, so it was around like $55 after tax. And then I bought a pack, a three pack of Thermal Right ARGB fans for around $14. Threw them in here, got them all synced up to the motherboard, and man, it just looks awesome. And not only that, it also performs pretty good as well. I tested it in three games like Fortnite, Apex, and in Warzone. In Fortnite, I just ran at 1080p with performance mode, got an average FPS of above 100. And then also in Apex Legends, we achieved above 100 FPS as well. And then in Warzone, I set it at the recommended preset 1080p, and we achieved right under 100 FPS. Still pretty solid performance, and it should sell because it looks good, the specs are there, and the performance is there. If you watched the last PC flipping video I made, I was talking about this build here and how I had a plan to have this build and have another build but with better specs this one is the base specs with the Ryzen 5 GTX 1070. The next step up is when I want to use Ryzen 7s and RTX 3060s. And I actually have them on hand, so let's go ahead and put an identical system together. It'll look just like this. I think it'll be in a white case this time with the Ryzen 7 and like an RTX 3060. Oh shoot, almost forgot to tell you. So like I said, I did list it. It cost me around 400 bucks. I listed it up for 560. That is around a 200 estimated profit. And we actually already got one message on it. Anyways, let's go ahead and build that second computer. And I already got the first part. It's right here. It's a Ryzen 7 2700. There is a sticker price on it of $55.77. But I actually got it for cheaper because I got a partial refund on eBay. Because when I bought it, there was a lot of bent pins. And right now I'm grabbing the most important part, the GPU. Oh, almost fell. I stepped right on that stupid glass panel. Anyways, before I was saying before that panel almost killed me, this is the GPU. It's an RTX 3060. Come here, come here, come here. I paid $70 for this. I bought them two of them, so I got 70 each, and this is the last one of them. When I used the first $70 RTX 3060, there was a ton of people saying like, no way, that's fake. Like. Where did you get it? Facebook Marketplace, it was actually bought in this series. I'll have the episode linked down below for you to check it out. Yeah, crazy deal right here. Okay, so as I build this PC, I wanna address some comments from my last PC flipping video. I was talking about basically building the same PCs over and over. Well, first off, I just wanna say, sorry for not communicating it clearly enough. I made it seem like I'm only going to build the same exact build with the same specs and same looks every single time, and that's just not the case at all. Just like this comment said, there are deals popping up on cases all the time, great deals on used hardware, and so on. 
Now of course I'm not going to limit myself to set specs, you should know me by now, if it's a good deal, I'm buying. I mean, as long as I got the funds for it. There was another comment as well, I said in the video that I was tired of budget builds and testing them out. Now that is true, to an extent. Yes, testing them out is annoying with their slower hardware, but I do actually enjoy budget builds more than expensive ones. And now that we're on the topic of it, I don't even build expensive builds. There was a couple other comments similar to the previous ones, but I just want to make it clear that not every PC build will be exactly the same. I literally said that in the video. I guess I was muted or something. Now that's not to say that all of my computer flips are going to be exactly the same, because that's just impossible when you're selling used gaming computers. I just want to say thank you to everyone that does leave me comments. If it's not clear by now, I do read them and I do take all the feedback that I get into consideration, so I appreciate it. Anyways, let's go ahead and finish this build. Here is the completed build. If you paid attention to me building it, then you notice the comparts are completely different than what I said I was going to build. And I just simply didn't have all the parts for that build like I thought I did. Man, B450 boards are getting expensive and hard to find. I literally just typed that part in the script. As I typed it, I went on Facebook Marketplace, found a B450 motherboard for an actual really good price, messaged them, and they said, in talks, I'll let you know if it falls through. But I was too late. What'd I tell you? They're getting hard to find. And, and hard to get. What? Since I didn't have all the parts, I built another computer. Well, actually last night. I just finished putting this computer together. It was around 8 p.m. and right now I'm just getting it ready for some benchmarking. I decided to go against using cable extensions, mainly because, well, I just didn't want to. And the power supply has all black cables. I personally think the computer looks pretty good without them. Anyways, I'm going to get this thing in a little photo shoot, so tomorrow morning or afternoon we can get it listed and test it out. Well, you heard my past self. Let's benchmark this thing. Now, it can handle 1440p, but my testing monitor is only 1080p. I ran Fortnite at performance mode, 100% 3D res scale, far view distance, and everything else on low. And of course, the first time around, I got wrecked, so I had to test it again. I did better, but still ended up dying to this little camper, but the computer crushed it. We got an average FPS of 291 with a 1% low of 139. In Apex Legends, I tested it with very high texture settings, TSAA on, and then everything else was on low. I ran a team deathmatch to get the most playtime, and I was honestly getting shit on. I guess today is just not my day for playing. However, the computer handled it pretty damn good. We scored a 263 FPS average and a 1% low of 196. In Call of Duty Warzone, I ran Resurgence with the balance settings preset. Now Warzone isn't my favorite BR, but Resurgence is actually pretty fun. Although I was getting wrecked, we achieved a really nice average FPS of 120 with a 1% low of 87. So last night, I decided against adding cable extensions while I had second thoughts after really looking at the computer. Most of the build is black, and since the AIO has a white LED, I decided to add some white cable extensions instead of going like with all black ones. Personally, I think the build turned out great, and good thing I didn't take pictures last night because I would have had to retake them. Alrighty, I just listed that computer for sale. It is still pretty early in the day. Uh, come on, there you go. Still morning time, so we have all day for it to get some messages. Well, hopefully. Anyways, my total cost was $496.96. I listed it for $899. So we should make around $400 in profit, and that would be super sick for this computer. Now you're probably curious the parts in this build, so let's go over them. Now all these parts were from a $400 iBuy Power pre-built that I bought on Facebook Marketplace. It was a pretty awesome computer, and I made a nice video on it. So we're using the i9-9900K from that computer. We're using the Asus Tough Z390M Pro Gaming motherboard. It has Wi-Fi, which is super nice for selling. And we're using a 2x8 gigabyte kit of DDR4. It's from Neo Forza. It's clocked at 3000 megahertz we're using a kingston 500 gigabyte nvme ssd wd blue one terabyte hard drive and these are all the parts that came with that i buy power pre-built and originally it had a 1660 super in it but i'm swapping it out with an rtx 
28 is super that I got for a hundred bucks. And the power supply is a Segotep GN 650 watt 80 plus gold. I actually got it for free and I'll link the episode where I got it for free so you can go watch it. Then cooling the i9 is the ID Cooling Frostflow X 240mm AIO. I bought that brand new on Amazon for $50.13 and then holding all the components is this nice Sama New View 4361. It's black and it's ATX form factor. Comes pre-installed with three ARGB fans. They look really cool and it has a built-in RGB controller in the back. So all the colors are synced up and controllable with a button on the case. As I said, I hope it gets messages. It is a really slow time right now, but this computer looks pretty freaking good and it performs good. So I don't know, guess we'll just have to see. Okay, it's been about four hours since I listed that computer. I actually just got a message and someone is on their way to buy it. Well, sorry, not buy it but by the first one that I talked about in the beginning of the video. They are 29 minutes away and the computer still has to be reset, so I better hurry. I got the computer all set up. I'm gonna remove all my data from it and I actually still have to get a Windows key on it because Windows is unactivated right now. And also get a video for the buyer to show them it working and literally this is why I do it. The buyer asked to come in, well didn't ask to come in, but they asked to see if they can boot it up when they buy it. I just let them know. I don't let people come in for security issues, but I can send you a video with a timestamp as proof that it works. A video and my reviews always helps me not have to let people in to see the computer. Alrighty, I just got it all set up, or actually not set up. I got it all reset, and now we just have to package it up. But let's not forget to include what's coming with the computer. The motherboard has Wi-Fi, so we got the little Wi-Fi antennas. Then we're gonna get a power cord as well. We got a bunch of them up here, so this one should do. Just sold it. Just sold it, got the funds. We got 560 bucks on Venmo. The reason I didn't record the selling process is because I met them outside my apartment. So I don't know, I just didn't have a place to set the camera up. Anyways, that computer was listed on April 2nd. Today's the 5th, so that only took three days to sell. And we got like 200 bucks in profit. It was listed over on Java, so I'm gonna have to take that listing down. I really want to try to sell computers online, especially when my local market is slow. But every time I list them, it always ends up selling on my local marketplace first. Yo, it's the next day after I sold that gaming PC. Just playing some Apex right now. And in between a match, I happened to check eBay. Scored a pretty good deal. That reminded me, I have a few deals that I've scored over the past couple days. And I want to share them with you. So two of the deals are from eBay. And then one of the deals is actually from Facebook Marketplace that we're going to be picking up on Monday. So the first deal, I actually scored it a few hours after selling that gaming PC last night. It's a GTX 1070. I got it for around 80 bucks with shipping and all the taxes and everything. And the second deal is right here. This is the one that I just scored. It's an ASRock B450 and a Ryzen 5 2600 for about $86 with shipping and all the taxes. Honestly, a pretty good deal. Happy with that pickup because as you seen earlier in the video, I was trying to get a B450 motherboard on Facebook and I was just too late. And then that deal from Facebook Marketplace, I actually secured it this morning. It seems like the guy's out of town, but it is a motherboard. So it's ninth gen like i7 and he's throwing in 16 gigabytes of RAM. And then he also let me know that he has a thermal take like 600 watt 80 plus gold unit power supply. And he's gonna throw that in for another 20. Like I said, we will be picking that up on Monday. So I'll see you then. Oh, I guess before I go, I should tell you about the ad. It has 157 views and five saves. It's doing pretty good. I'm in the car right now. We're on our way to go get a deal, but it's actually not the deal that I'm picking up on Monday because today is Sunday. The reason I'm gonna go get this deal today, I literally had no choice because the guy was about to sell it to someone else. I messaged him first, but then I was like, yeah, does tomorrow actually work better? Because oh, no, I didn't want to. And then he's like, nah, uh, it's actually in talks with someone else right now. It's first come, first serve. So I was like, ain't no way. Send that address, I'm on my way. Deal secured, just left the guy's house, paid 40 buckaroos cold hard cash. I'm actually gonna pull over right here and show you what we got. So we got two things. First is a GTX 1050 Ti, four gigabyte little graphics card here, 20 bucks. Second thing, RX 580, eight gigabyte version with the box, another $20 for a grand total 
of 40 bucks we got two graphics cards this is kind of funny because earlier in the video i was responding to comments and everyone was like oh they're just gonna do the same exact builds this is obviously not true these were good deals so you know i went and picked them up and then kind of another funny thing as i leave here this wasn't a nicer neighborhood and that's how you know you're gonna get a good deal they just i don't know they don't care too much they don't really maybe they don't do their research on what they're worth or they just list it low because they just want to sell it and don't want to sit on it you know they just want it gone they don't really care anyways this is a pretty good deal and it was bought on my facebook marketplace recently i've been buying a lot of deals on ebay because to be honest with you my local market for deals has been trash but it's starting to pick up as you see right now and then also tomorrow when we pick up that other deal but don't think that i stopped buying deals on ebay because i didn't and i'll show you those on monday as well ladies and gents we made it to monday and we're back in the whip so you know what that means we're on our way to go get that deal baby and it's only like 10 minutes away deal secured i paid 95 dollars got cpu gpu or not gpu cpu motherboard ram and power supply cpu is an i7 9700f got 16 gigabytes of ram on a b360 motherboard and a thermaltake smart 600 watt 80 plus gold power supply the ram was just kind of thrown in and the guy just told me right now that he's not sure if both of the sticks work but hey if not then oh well because it was just thrown in like i said if they do then that's sick a little bonus 16 gigabyte get of ram i'm not 100 percent sure if everything works he just met me at this college campus so fingers crossed it does i'll see you at home we'll test those ebay deals and then we'll test out this deal let's go ahead and start the ebay deals off with this one right here since it's already out of its package i got two power supplies here for a total of 75 dollars and five cents now that's not an insane deal but a decent power supplies are getting hard to find for respectable prices these power supplies are 600 watt 80 plus gold units from gomdius they look like new and we got the power cords with them as well all right the next deals are still packaged up so let's go ahead and box them and then as i do that i want to thank the people that donated towards the house since the last episode for anyone that donates they get a thank you shout out in the video plus we'll get their name written on a wall once i eventually reach the goal of buying a house our first donation is from wifey's topic they left a little note and said w videos can't wait for the next video hey thank you appreciate it up next is luis hernandez he said looking to flip some pcs as well what is the best common am4 cpu and gpu combo to pair together to make good profit and also gives the buyer a decent gaming experience for that i'm gonna reference my last pc flipping video as i talked about with my cookie cutter pc builds i want to use some ryzen 5s and ryzen 7s and pair them with like gtx 1070s and rtx 3060s so there's your answer third donation is from christopher hung hang for thank you i really appreciate it and he said love your vids you inspired me to build my own gaming pc and it turned out great just a quick question if you don't mind is the ryzen 4500 paired with rx 580 8 gigabyte a good combo for 1080p yeah it seems like a great combo rx 580 the drivers aren't supported anymore but it has 8 gigs of vram and that 4500 you are able to upgrade it because you're on am4 our fourth donation is from kai burge and he's a frequent donator here he said yo i recently bought an old pc with an i3 2120 gt 1030 and 8 gigs of ram i got the parts for about 117 usd and I haven't got the case in storage, but I was wondering how much should I sell it for? Well, to me, it sounds like you overpaid. I would just try to market that as like a really budget gaming PC or just an office PC. Sell it for like 200 with like a monitor. Our fifth donation is from Milos Parole. He said, greetings from Lublin. I love your videos. Sorry for only the three bucks, but I hope it helps. Because of you, I started to flip PCs, but my city is too small and I can't sell any PCs. I already put $4,000 into it. So can I ask for some advice? First off, you shouldn't have started with $4,000. That's a pretty hefty investment. As far as advice goes, you can try lowering prices, updating your pictures, or list anywhere else that's available to you. Up next is a donation from Sylvan Hardono. It said, hey man, you've got me interested in flipping PCs. What kind of parts would be good for a first time flipper? Do you have any tips for me? Thank you. Well, like I said to Luis Hernandez, I'm referencing my last PC flipping video. Those are the kind of parts I recommend, or you can start really cheap at like DDR3. The seventh donation is from Lustin Tabakri. He actually donated in the last episode. He said, what's up Elijah? I don't know if you remember me. Yeah, I do. I've come again with another $2. I support your creator 
creativity a lot and still wish you the best of luck in the future. Supported by me, my family, and my cats. Hey, I really appreciate it and hope the cats are doing good. The last donation is from one of my coworkers that I used to work with. Shout out Daniel. We were chilling one night and he just slid me this tenor. He didn't leave a little note or anything, but he's always messaging me and telling me how fire my videos are. And he even said a few days ago that, yo, you're gonna get 100K this year, keep going. So shout out to you, Daniel. Thank you for the support. One last thank you to everyone that donated. And now let's go ahead and get back to those deals we got. All right, here's all the eBay deals. I'm gonna test these first, and then the Facebook Marketplace deals. Got a 3070, two Ryzen 7s, two 16 gigabyte kits of DDR4, and then those two power supplies. Alrighty, moment of truth. Click in the power button. Let's probably flip that power switch. There we go. Lights are lighting up. Let's do it again. Okay, fans are spinning. Alrighty, fans have been spinning for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down and we'll give it another try. Well, I can't get it to post. Everything on this setup is spinning to life uh, as far as the CPU, RAM, motherboard. I don't see any debug lights on this thing. All these parts are ones that I just opened up from eBay. I don't know if any of them work. So I'm gonna start with something easy with the RAM. I'm gonna pop in a kit of 16 gigabytes that I know works. Moment of truth. Flip the power switch again. RAM is lighting up. Monitor is still off. Oh no. Alrighty, second easiest thing is to now swap out the CPU. Okay, fresh CPU installed. Power flip is switched. And let's go. Okay, so nothing is working. My guess is it's the graphics card or it's the motherboard. Cause now that I think of it, I bought this in one of the last episodes from eBay and I don't think I ever tested it. I'm such an idiot. I'm looking at this motherboard, guys. I'm about to like take off the graphics card, put a new one. The freaking CPU power is not even plugged in. There's my freaking problem. The problem is I'm an idiot. It's all right, mistakes happen. And I'm gonna leave this in just to show you mistakes happen. There we go, it all works. So under that cooler, we got a Ryzen 7 2700X. Right next to it is a 16 gigabyte kit of DDR4 clocked at 3200 megahertz and then we got an RTX 3070. W, baby. The second round of parts works. We got a Ryzen 7 2700. Lon X, just 2700. Then we got another 16 gigabyte kit of RAM, clocked at 3200 megahertz. Then I also decided to throw that 1050 Ti on here this time, and that works as well. Okay, so this time around, I got the RX 580 on there. I got the second Gomdius power supply, same Ryzen 7, and same kit of RAM. And yes, I made sure to plug in all the power supply cables. Let's go, baby, let's go. So all these deals work and it's kind of crazy when you plug everything in like how it's supposed to go. Anyways, let's go ahead and test that last Facebook Marketplace deal that I picked up. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna test from that deal is the power supply. I'm just gonna hook it up to a power supply tester and check the voltages. Well, power supply is all good. I'll leave the power supply tester I use down below and I just refer to their little manual. Okay, moment of truth. Turning the power supply on, clicking the power button. Fans are spinning. That'll be so cool if this RAM kit works. Does it detect 16 gigs of RAM? Let's see when it gets to the BIOS. Let's go, 16 gigabytes is detected. Since he thought this RAM was broken, before I actually flip it and sell it in a build, I will run a mem test on it to ensure that it is running good. My favorite part of this deal, besides the fact that it was a good deal, I love that we got some RAM and the motherboard has Wi-Fi on it. Comment down below what your favorite deal was out of everything that I got in this episode. Anyways, I have a lot of parts, so I'm gonna start piecing together some builds, but that's gonna be for the next episode and hopefully we flip some more computers as well. If you enjoyed this episode though, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss when I drop the next episode. If this is your first time watching this series and you found yourself enjoying it, then go and click here and watch the beginning of season one, or you can click here and watch the beginning of season two. Whatever you do, hope you have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.